Hey, Bill here with 30 Minute Woodshop. Thanks for joining. Today, I wanna to show you how to make one of these. All right, this is an Arrow of Light plaque. This is crossover season for Cub Scouts. So if your son or daughter is a Weeblows too, and they've done all the stuff they're supposed to do for Arrow of Light, they earn one of these plaques. They'll get a really cool little badge too, which by the way, they can wear that badge on their scout uniform if they cross over. So this is my son's plaque from like 2008, 2009. And one of my buddies made this uh, for him. And you can see here he used bent brass rod and then cut some brass pieces and epoxied them on. Pretty cool, pretty nice. I'm gonna show you how to do one a little bit differently than this. What I've done here is I've cut two foot long pieces of uh, one by eight. So these are seven and a half inches wide. I did this for a couple of reasons. One is uh, I wanna have enough room to put on, to actually uh, carve into this both the sunburst and an arrow, okay? Now they're, 22, they're 24 inches long, so it'll take a 20 to 22 inch arrow. And uh, what I also wanna do is have a little room here at the bottom, down here. I'm gonna be using a CNC machine. As a matter of fact, I'm using a Fox Alien. If you're interested in CNC, jump down there, take a look. Absolutely, I tell you what, well worth the money, super, super easy. I can't believe, I couldn't believe how easy it is. I, I don't have any experience with, uh, with CNC machines. Super easy to do. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. Anyway, take a look. Uh, there's other links down there to other tools. Also, uh, there'll be a link down there to a, uh, uh, a, digital, a digital sketch. So you can take a look at that. Uh, that'll give you some idea of what, what I'm going through here. So, what I'm gonna do here though, is I wanna put enough room for, for that uh, Fox Alien CNC to work. Now, you don't need something like that. Just find somebody who has really good penmanship, give them a paint pen, and have them scroll out the name, okay? There's enough room here to write your son or daughter's name. Super easy, put the date, date on it. You can see here with my son, this was his den, he was the owl den kind of getting ready for scouts and the patrol method. So kind of cool, but hey. So a couple other things we're gonna do to these two later on. Uh, you already saw me cut and tell me to do some initial sanding on the edges because these are really hairy and rough. But I'm gonna come back here. Uh, we're gonna route the edges and make them nice and soft, all right? And like I said, we're gonna take a router and we're gonna route in the sunburst and route in an arrow and then I'll come back and do the name on the CNC. Now what I'm doing here, you can see this is different pieces of wood. What I'm making is a pattern. The reason I'm making a pattern is because I'm making a number of these. If you're not gonna make a lot of them, you don't have to. Router with a, uh, with a circle jig will cut this. You can cut these by basically by putting in a, uh, a guide and running your, your uh, router right next to the guide each time. Pretty easy to do. All right, and the same with down here, you could run a guide. The only thing that's, that's a little tricky is doing the arrowhead and the feathers. Gotta be very careful in doing that. So my suggestion there is you route out the bulk of it and then take a, a chisel and do a, a final with the chisel. Pretty easy to do. But again, I'm using a, a, a pattern so I can use the router on the whole thing because I'm making a, a number of these things and make it way easier and faster for me. So let me keep laying this out, then I'll cut it up and I'll be back. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually marking using basically a bent piece of wood. Lots of ways you can do this. You can use a trammel. You can use, which is a giant, trammel's a giant compass. Um, you could use a, a router with a, uh, with a uh, circle jig on it. Uh, that works really well too. Uh, this for setup, this is a lot easier for me. I marked out my, uh, in the back side here, I'm just drawing a line following the wood. And there we go. So now I have my two, two uh, lines marked. And let's make sure those are a little bit more than a half an inch. Yep, those are uh, a little bit more than half an inch, so that should be good. Now that I have those marked, I want to mark out the end piece, the, end, the ends, and then I want to put in the rays. And then I'll come back and mark out the, uh, the uh, arrow. 
Well, layout's done. I forget everything blacked in that's gonna be removed. I'm gonna take it over to the bandsaw and start cutting. Let's talk about the router setup. So I'm using a Porter Cable 690. Uh, what I have here is a Porter Cable bushing set uh, that's in. It's very simple to put in and put out. Let me grab this real quick. Didn't say it wasn't awkward though. All right, it's a two piece. So it's got the, uh, the threaded knurled ring and then it's got the bushing itself. So the bushing itself, you can see this is the piece that follows in the, uh, in the pattern that you're gonna use. So if you see that, this is follow, follow the pattern. It's got this step in it, or just flange, that fits into this countersink. So it's pretty, it's pretty good, it's nice and tight, nice and flush and centered. So you can buy a whole set of these things. If you have a, a plunge base, if you have a base that fits all these, it makes it super useful. Now in the, in the center here, I have a half inch shank, half inch core box bit. Uh, this I think is a Rockler, but you can get them from uh, Mana, Freud, Whiteside, uh, I think American Eagle. Uh, a lot of people make these. This happens to be a solid carbide. So I prefer carbide rather than the high speed steel. Most people do these days too. Here's another thing. If you've never used one of these plunge routers before, this is how you do it. First thing you want to do is turn it on. Now you notice it, my router for safety reasons is not plugged in. Be sure when you're working on the router, you unplug it. I know it can be a pain in the butt, but unplug it. It's a safety issue. You never want to get your fingers down there and accidentally have it turn on. You never know what's going to happen. So what you do, turn it on. Rock the uh, lever, plunge to the maximum depth, release the lever. And what that does now is that stops the, the uh, plunge base and fixes it. Super easy. Now when you get done, just the reverse. Release the lever, bring it all the way up. Turn it off, and you're good to go. On that note, let's start cutting. Okay. Well, that worked out pretty well. Got a little bit of cleanup with the sandpaper down here at the bottom, along the edge. Otherwise, it's ready to get a name put into it and uh, be stained and varnished. Let's keep working. So this arrow of light plaque for Cub Scouts was a great little project. I had a lot of fun building it. I will tell you it's not a 30 minute project, um, especially if you're gonna make the, uh, the uh, template. The template's gonna take you, you know, 30, 40 minutes alone. Once you get the template built though, these things pop out in a matter, like they pop out like popcorn. Very easy to do. Um, if you're making more than one, definitely make a template. It's worth the time investment. I am not normally a jigging template guy. I hate making things to make things. But in this case, I tell you what, it paid off. <laughs> Especially with this pile that I had to make here. And I got a couple more that are coming too. But like I said, real fun. It took me about uh, 10 minutes, uh, seven minute run for each one of these uh, uh, names on the CNC. Easy to do, but about three minutes or four minutes to uh, do the setup for each one. And then it took about another three or four minutes, maybe yeah, more like eight minutes, 10 minutes to create the Jeep code file to do each of these. Again, pretty fast, pretty easy. Far better than me trying to hand chisel these things. That'd be horrible. Um, don't think you have to use a CNC or a laser. Just get somebody who's good with a paint pen and have them scrawl the name on. Kids will still love it and so will the parents. Now, if you're interested, all right, there's a, in the bottom, all right, hit more, see more and you'll find my blog and in that blog there's going to be a dimension sketch so you can get pick up a digital sketch 
with all the dimensions on it. Those are the actual dimensions of, of these pieces, not dimensions for a, um, for a template. For the template, make sure you take your bushing, all right, and add the appropriate amount to those pieces, to the, each of these dimensions. So if this is a half inch wide, use 5 eighths bushing. You know, you gotta add a little more 16th on each side and then add, a, add probably another 16th just for clearance so you get it in there and get it out, okay? Like I said, template's a great idea. Now, also, there's a link to Fox Alien. Check that out. Uh, great piece of, I can't say how, <laughs> I can't, it's just a fun piece of equipment, folks. I just, I can't get over it, man. I kind of bought it on a lark because I saw it on sale and man, I tell you what, easy to use, fast, comes out really nice. I'm very impressed with it. Um, impressed with the repeatability and the accuracy for something that, that inexpensive. So take a look, check that out. There's also links to the bushings and uh, the core box bits and some of the other tools I use. And I will say this again, if anybody knows about bushings that are available for the DeWalt uh, compact router, do me a favor, Put it in the comments. I'd really like to find out more about that. Um, I think I think I could see spots where I could definitely use something like that. So if it's available, you know about it, let me know. Okay, on that note, I had fun making it. Like I said, hopefully uh, you got something out of this and you'll give it a try for your kids or your, your pack or den. If you do, do me a favor, put something down in, in the comments or drop something on my Facebook page. I'd love to see what you've done and uh, hey, if you got something out of it, like I said, hit like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And until next time, good making.